Hi guys and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a lead sheet in Sibelius. Um, to start off with I'm going to assume that you know pretty much how to make a score in Sibelius so I'm just going to breeze through this part. Um, I'm going to start with a blank score um, and add an instrument for a lead sheet. Generally speaking my lead sheet will be for vocal um, so I'm going to add a voice to my lead sheet. Um, I'm going to pick my time signature, I'm going to pick my metronome mark, I'm going to pick the key that I want to operate in, and I'm going to give my lead sheet a title. Um, add my name and add a copyright. By the way, copyrights, the format is copyright with the copyright symbol, your name, um, comma and the year. Okay, that's how you do that. And then hit create. All right, so that's the easy part. The more tricky part is um, actually getting a lead sheet to look like a sensible piece of musical information. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do um, is delete this little stave name. Okay, so what I do in Sibelius, by the way, anything that's purple you can delete, anything that's blue, not so easy to delete. Okay, so um, I'm going to select that name, hit delete, and it goes away just like that. The next thing that I'm going to have to do is add some more bars. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to select the last bar of my piece. I'm going to hold down the command key on a Mac, on a PC, this um, shortcut is different. Um, hold on a command key on a Mac and hit B on my keyboard and I'm just going to keep hitting B until I have enough bars okay now I'm going to select these stave names again because I don't want them and I'm going to hit delete all right so that's fairly straightforward um, now what I would like to do actually is to space out my lead sheet so that it looks sensible okay so I'm going to select the entire um, score. There's a number of ways to do this. The first thing is you can just kind of click until it happens. Um, that, that'll do that. Or um, click the bar, hold down shift and click where you want to select again. Um, so once I've done that, what I want to do is I want to go to layout, the layout tab up here. I want to go to auto breaks. I'm going to use auto system breaks over here at the top. Um, every four bars and what that will do is space out my lead sheet beautifully for me now if you decide to change your mind halfway through um, say you don't want four bars to a line you want five bars or you think you can squish a couple of bars in simply select the end um, bar line and hit return okay um, so that will remove the spacing okay Hitting return removes the spacing. Okay, so there's an option for you there. Um, and pretty much that's layout of the score. I will talk about how to delete excess bars um, in a minute. Now what I'd like to do is I would like to show you how to input um, chords and lyrics um, on your lead sheet. Okay, so hopefully you know by now that the input process for Sibelius when in terms of inputting notes is a bit of a two-step process. Number one, you have to select the note value here in the keypad, so say quarter notes, and um, once that's highlighted, you need to type in the note name. There are many different ways of inputting notes in Sibelius, but um, this is probably my preferred method. Um, okay, look at my beautiful melody happening here. Excellent. Okay, that's my melody. What I might do actually is add another note here. Um, okay, beautiful. That's going to be my song. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to add chords. There's two ways, two main ways of adding chords in Sibelius. Um, the first way is to click the text tab up the top here. Um, click text and then you see it says there's a little button that says chord symbol. Okay, so just highlight the note where you want to put the chord symbol above. Click text, click chord symbol, 
and the cursor starts flashing and you can immediately begin to type your chord symbols in. Okay. Um, the other option is to select where you would like to input your chord and hold down command on a Mac and press K. Okay, and then you can type your chords again. Um, brilliant. Okay, so that's how to input chords. Um, the next thing we need to know how to do is put lyrics in because obviously, you know, lead sheets tend to have lyrics. Um, if they're lead sheets for songs. So again, you go to the text tab, anything to do with text goes under the text tab in Sibelius. Um, hit uh, text, styles, there's a big drop down menu. Okay, and then you should be able to select, actually, no, that's incorrect. Go to lyrics, okay, and you can just hit the button once and you can um, type in your lyrics. Now, to space lyrics in Sibelius, there's two options. Um, either hit the space bar um, to move to the next note. Um, Or the other option, if you've got a multi-syllable word, is to hit the hyphen button, and the hyphen button will automatically take you to the next note. Now, um, you can see here I've got uh, a note that's been held. Okay, so the syllable day is going to be held for one bar and one crotchet. Okay, so how I indicate in that, that in the lyrics and spellings is just keep pr um, hitting space um, until um, I hit the next note, really, which is not it's doesn't exist at the moment but in any case um, it'll come up with a line by the word which indicates to hold that note. All right and that's a very um, quick introduction on how to create a lead sheet in Sibelius. And finally before I go I just would like to show you once you've done your lead sheet I mean brilliant lead sheet this this particular lead sheet um, I've got too many bars is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I need to get rid of them. Okay, so like I said with Sibelius, if something's highlighted blue, it's very tricky to delete it. Okay, but um, in order to delete bars in Sibelius, you have to actually highlight them purple. And the way you do that is you hold down Command and click. Okay, so hold down Command on a Mac and click. Now, if you'd like to delete more than one bar, hold down Shift and click. Once you've got the bar selected in purple, all right, and then after you've done that, hit delete and bye bye goes the excess bars, all right. So there you go, how to create a lead sheet in Sibelius. If you have any questions or you'd like any other tutorial videos for Sibelius and you have a specific topic in mind, just let me know.